<laughs> and it was after that second gold medal that the BBC approached you to do a sitcom. And so me and John Ronald Ruel was born. Mm -hmm. Now, this was high concept stuff. Well, it was, if I may, a highly sophisticated sitcom. You see, I played Christiane Olivier, a whip-smart teenager who solved mysteries with the aid of the ghost of J.R.R. Tolkien. I believe we have a clip. According to the Scotland Yard records I hacked into with my personal computer, on the night of the kidnapping, Professor White received three phone calls from someone named Elliot Brownthroat. Take care with that nefarious-looking contraption, young master. It stinks of ceremony. That's Tolkien! <laughs> it has been observed that while you, as the three-time gold-winning champion team captain, are quite famous in Britain, your counterparts in the States have not enjoyed the same fame. It is unsurprising to me, Leslie. You see, in Britain, we appreciate our history. We don't have to strain to imagine castles. We can go visit them. Goblins and gold, it's like... It's like stories we tell ourselves about ourselves. It's in us. Swords and knights and fantasy in general. Tolkien, C.S. Lewis, J.K. Rowling. It's no mistake they're all Brits, yes? In America, you could barely remember back past this morning's latte, can you? Half your population knows nothing about what happened before they were born. Plus, for you Yanks, RPGs are more about wish fulfillment than good old-fashioned storytelling. Interesting. Now, it has been rumored that you and your team will complete your training in Los Angeles under legendary role-playing coach Santiago Velasco de Valdivia. Can you confirm this? Fuck. We will be training in Los Angeles, yes. Beyond that, Leslie, I'm not really at liberty to say. I'm telling you, Shillelagh has no somatic component. Hey, just uh, a sec. All right, carrying crawlers. Party's here. Does Shillelagh have a somatic component as well as verbal and material? <laughs> These kids are too fucking wound up. It's less than three weeks until... Well, you think I don't know that? We're less than three weeks away, and the three of you are clenched tighter than a high elf princess's twat. Now, we're not going to get anywhere until we get some release. And since your chances of getting laid are worse than pulling the moon from the deck of many things, this will have to do. <clears throat> Cheers. What you want? I heard there was a game. Honey? The frost giant barrels through you on his mastodon. Let's all, you manage to leap away. But your horse is not so lucky and is trampled to a pulp under his massive feet. Shit. Lexal rolls to his feet and casts Melf's minute meteors targeted on the saddle. Melf's what? It'll do extra damage to a frost-based creature and, with luck, start the mammoth's hair on fire. <laughs> Roll it. God damn it. You try to dodge, but 
your injured leg fails you. The javelin drives through the flesh of your back, piercing your lungs. 28 points. Fuck. All right, Lexol. From the shadows, you watch Terran the Quick collapse to the cave floor, clutching his burst chest. A huge stone javelin jutting from his back. Rand and Grindelwald are both buried under tons of rubble in the cave mouth. The cave titan steps into view. Another stone javelin in one hand and a huge iron maul in the other. His eyes glow balefully. Am I close enough to heal Terran? No. The cave titan steps over Terran, who lies broken on the ground. <laughs> yeah, the werewolves are like chewing on her face, remember? Remember? And Coriander, my half-ogre barbarian, just swoops in and fucking tears the werewolves off her, remember? <laughs> I remember, I remember chewing on something of hers that night, but it wasn't her face. <laughs> what? You slept with Narina? Like a fucking comeliness of 22, man. Comeliness. <laughs> Old school. Yeah. The Titan raises his gigantic maul over his head. Terran struggles, but he's pinned by the javelin. Blood pours from his chest and back. Um. Come on, man. I, I don't... Jesus. I'm gonna die here. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't... The Titan takes a deep breath, raising them all high over his head. With all his might, he brings it down on Terran's skull. <laughs> Fucking coward. You slept with Arena? So? You knew I was in love with her. Dude, you were never going to close that shit. Someone had to step up. Frankly, it was hardly worth it. She fucked like a priestess of Heronius. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I saved her! You have the finesse of a fucking Eton! Richard? You can't even play a priest right! Don't say that! Give me that gauntlet! No! You don't deserve it! I'm playing for fist. Come on, you harpy snatch! You fucking bug bear! Give it to me, you fuck! Fine! Scab! <laughs> Maybe these days will number in ways I can count. Had the right stuff, just an insufficient amount. <laughs> I wish I could harden up, I wish I could harden up the tasks in this life. They make up our common fate, and if I save my hope, I hope I can find the account. <laughs> Maybe these armaments were mine when I got uptight. The friends who've abandoned me don't keep me up at night. If I had meant to do differently, then I still would have fucked up again and again. Vision don't help you with such. Precipitous high. All they were telling me was try. Hi, I'm Gary Carp. I play Charles Subar in Gold. Gold is independently produced, so if you like what you saw, please go to the website at goldtheseries.com, click on donate, give what you can. Are we done? We're done.